today we are going to discuss about the pn junction diode voltage current characteristics and thereafter we are going to discuss about gna diode also first see the pn junction diode voltage current characteristics practical experiment okay now this is the practical diagram for parallel bias and reverse bias here positive is connected to anode and negative is connected to cathode now this is forward bias whereas here negative is connected to anode and positive is connected to cathode now this is a reverse bias connection now while we are doing the forward bias operation we need to increase the supply voltage while increasing the supply voltage voltage across diode is going to increase and thereafter the current also going to increase but up to certain value that means up to cutting voltage when you increase the voltage if you observe here when you increase the voltage to the point one point two point three there is no increase in current the current is zero okay further when you increase the supply voltage the voltage across the diode is going to increase when this is reached to cut in voltage then the current starts increasing suddenly from 0 0.5 point 3 to 4 and 28 there is a sudden increase in the current after reaching the cut in voltage okay this is for forward bias whereas in the case of reverse bias by changing the supply voltage that is by increasing the supply voltage we need to take the rating of voltmeter as well as ammeter like this apply the supply voltage by using rps and note down the voltmeter as well as ammeter ratings but here the ammeter we need to take is micro ammeter why because in this case the current is due to the minority charge carriers that's why we are going to use the micro ammeter okay and after taking all these values we need to draw the graph between forward voltage versus forward current only it is not the supply voltage once i am repeating we need to draw the graph between the forward voltage versus forward current that means this is the forward bias voltage current characteristics similarly in the case of reverse bias we need to draw the graph between reverse voltage versus reverse current now this shows the reverse bias voltage current characteristics okay now from this graph we need to calculate the forward static resistance forward dynamic resistance similarly reverse static reverse dynamic resistances okay now how we draw this graph by using these values only we draw the graph now now from this i take it any two values that means forward static resistance means forward voltage by the forward current you can take any value on this graph on this uh, tabular column i take in this value 0.6 by 4 v by r 0.6 by 4 it is 0.15 the resistance value is kilo ohms why because here the current is in terms of milliamps so that's why it is kilo ohms similarly forward dynamic resistance is the ratio of change in voltage to the change in current that means you can take any two values other than zeros okay now 0 0.7 minus 0 0.6 by 28.1 minus 4.0 now i got the value as 0 0.0041 kilo ohms why because the current is in terms of milliamps similarly we can determine reverse static and reverse dynamic also okay minus 10 by minus 10 minus 10 by minus 10 values and minus 10 minus 9 by minus 10 minus 9 i got the value as 1 mega ohm here also i got the value as 1 mega ohm why because here the current is in terms of micro amps that is the reason i got this value as 1 mega ohm why because micro means 10 power minus 6 now 1 by 10 power minus 10 by minus 10 into 10 power minus 6 okay if it comes to the numerator it will become 10 power plus 6 10 power plus 6 means we need to write in terms of mega so that is the reason why if it is micro the units are mega if it is milli the units are kilo ohms from this we can observe that the forward resistance is lesser than when compared to the reverse resistance okay from this table column we draw on this graph and from this graph as well as from this table column we are going to calculate the forward and reverse static and dynamic resistances okay this is about the pn junction diode voltage current characteristics okay similarly we can look after the gna diode also for that see this 
Genoder voltage current characteristics. Now this is the forward bias and this is the reverse bias. Here also the connection is similar connection to the PN junction driver. Here this is the symbol for your Genoder driver. Okay. Now in this case also the forward bias graph is similar to PN junction driver forward bias graph. Okay. Now here by increasing the supply voltage we need to note down the voltmeter as well as ammeter ratings like this. Here, these are the supply voltage. By increasing supply voltage to the 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, up to 13, we need to note down the forward voltage. That means voltage across this G0 diode. This one, the voltage across G0 diodes and respect to currents. Here also, after cutting voltage only, there is a sudden increase in the current. That is what we need to observe. Whereas in the case of reverse bias, when you increase the supply voltage, how the voltage is varying and how the current is varying, that is what we need to observe. Now, here I am increasing my supply voltage to the different values. After reaching certain voltage in this reverse voltage, after reaching certain voltage, there is no further increase in the voltage. If you observe here, I am increasing my supply voltage from 5 to 10, 10 to 15, 15 to 20, but here there is no increase in voltage across the G0 diode. That means it is maintaining constant. Only the current is going to increase here. Only the current is going to increase, but the voltage across Geno diode is maintaining constant. Okay, that is what we need to observe in the case of reverse bias of Geno diode. Whereas in the case of PN junction diode, it is different. Voltage current both are going to increase. Whereas in the case of Geno diode, the voltage is maintaining constant in reverse bias. So that's why we are going to call it as a voltage regulator. It is going to act like a regulator. Okay, so that is the reason we need to discuss about line regulation as well as load regulation. In the case of line regulation, we need to change the that means we need to vary the supply voltage whereas the load is maintaining constant that is 470 whereas in the case of load regulation we need to change the load but the supply is constant of 12 volts okay first see the line regulation now increase the supply voltage to the different values here 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay now now note down the respect to load values voltage across load now this is the voltage across the load okay now here the voltage is maintaining constant. Now it is a line regulation. Okay. And we can calculate the load current by using the formula I is equal V by R. 0.7 by 1. 0.7 by it is 470. It is not 1. Why? Because resistance value is 470. 0.7 by 470. 1.4 by 470. 2.1 by 470. And 2.8 by 470. Here it is 3.5 by 470. Like this, we can calculate all these load current values by using the Ohm's law formula. <coughs> I is equal V by R. Sorry. Now for line regulation, we need to change the, sorry, for load regulation, we need to change the load values. Okay, load values of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, like that. Okay, and when you change this load value, voltage across the load is maintaining constant, that is of all are 5 ohms, 5 volts only, all are 5 volts only. Okay, now determine respect to current values. I is going to be that means 5 by 1 is 5, here 5 by 2 is 2 by 5. Here, 5 by 3 is 1 by 7. Similarly, we can calculate all these values. Okay. This is about the G0 diode. Okay. Thank you.